How you doing? My name's Tim Brox and welcome back to Easy Bee's Kitchen. I was looking around in my fridge tonight wondering what I could fix for dinner. So I looked through my vegetable bin and found a lot of inspiring things that are great for stews. Went down to the shop and got me some lamb and we're gonna cook up some Easy Bee's homemade lamb stew. Take a look and I'll show you what's in the fridge. All right, these are a number of things that I usually keep in my vegetable drawer that are gonna go into my stew. Okay, parsnips, lovely, numerous applications. Celery, got it. Carrots, got it. Red pepper, green pepper, onion, and my finally, my tomato sauce. Okay, this is something that I used on a, a project earlier this week, and it's going right into our stew. Stick around, and I'll show you how to put it all together. The fantastic tunes that you're hearing tonight are from my great friend Wilder Embry. He's a lovely, aspiring artist, and he is absolutely fantastic. He plays some of the best rock, folk, Americana music that you'll ever hear. And Wilder, I wish you were here. This dish is for you. Okay. Now that you've had a chance to see what all is in the dish, I'm gonna let you know how to make Easy Bee's homemade lamb stew. All right, start with the herbs. Two tablespoons of Herbs de Provence, a lovely mixture of thyme, basil, lavender, incredible, great French herb mixture. One bay leaf, one sprig of rosemary. Our spice, we're gonna go with one tablespoon of salt, one half tablespoon of, teaspoon of pepper, one quarter teaspoon cardamom, one quarter teaspoon coriander. Both of these are excellent with lamb, always, always, always. Paprika, flavor, flavor, flavor. Veggies, one stalk carrot, one stalk parsnip, one medium onion, one stalk of celery, six cloves of garlic, one half whole cut red pepper, one half whole cut green pepper, two tomatoes, and eight ounces of tomato sauce. Our meat and the star of the show tonight is lamb, one and a half pounds of shoulder. Okay, that's a very inexpensive cut, very lovely meat right there. Wine, we're gonna give it soul and some depth. Half a cup of red, half a cup of white. We're doing it. Stock, one and a half cup homemade chicken stock. Thanks for joining us in What's in the Fridge with Easy B. You can find us at youtube.com slash user slash Easy B Kitchen. My name's Tim Broxton. Thanks for, again for joining us at Easy Beast Kitchen. And thank you to my trusty film man, Drew Hollingsworth. I'm gonna show you how to put it all together. It's a warm, hearty, and soulful dish. It will warm you from the inside out. Okay, listen up. Lamb is much more than a versatile, wholesome, delicious menu option. It's filled with all the B vitamins you can need. It has all essential minerals and nutrients that you could possibly ask for. I'm gonna show you how to cut this up now, and I'll give you an idea of about the size we're looking for. This is some very lean lamb, and this is about the, the size you need, okay? That's a piece of stew lamb. It's about that size, that's what you're looking for. Now I know a lot of people out there have trepidation about lamb, and I'm gonna tell you, if you think it tastes too strong, simply follow this recipe right here. Take your lamb meat, get you a little buttermilk, and just throw your lamb right in there and let that sit out at room temperature. That's right, room temperature for about 30 minutes. And all that strong flavor will have dissipated. If you're a true lamb fan, this is certainly not necessary, but I'm just showing you this can be done. And plus, tonight the spice is right, okay? We aren't playing any games, it is gonna be on. All the spices right here are gonna take care of any problems anybody might have, but this is just a suggestion. Be cold, you will the day. All right, I remember the first time I'd ever had lamb. I was on vacation for Christmas with my parents and I was real leery to try it and ever since I've tried it, I've been enamored with it and have fallen in love with it. So I've tried to find all of the versatile uses I could with it. And lamb stew is pretty much a solid, you know, go-to dish for lamb. It's a great dish, okay? As you can see here, 
I've, I've soaked all of that lamb into the buttermilk and it's turned from bright red to kind of this lighter color. And this has made it a much smoother flavor. The first thing we're gonna do is take our olive oil and we're gonna throw it into a nice hot pan. And that's about uh, an eighth of a cup. And then we're gonna take this lamb and throw it right in. And the whole purpose here is to simply get it browned. And once we get it browned, just uh, on the outside, we're gonna take it out and start working on our vegetables. All right, if you look at this beautiful plate of vegetables here, all of that is healthy. Unbelievable smells before it even goes in the pot. And if you'll take a look at this pot here, we've added just a little butter, maybe about two tablespoons, and a little bit more olive oil. And this is just left over from the lamb, some of the moisture. And we're gonna take that whole plate of vegetables and we're gonna cook these vegetables down for about 15 minutes until they get nice and soft. And then we're gonna throw in our wine, which is gonna add some serious flavor. Man, I can't tell you how good it's smelling in here. All these veggies cooking in that olive oil, the fawn that's on the bottom of the pan with the lamb. We're gonna start next with all the spices. Look at how beautiful, okay? Every bit of that goes in right now. We're gonna stir it, coat the vegetables up quite nicely with it. Make sure that gets incorporated well. And now is the time for our wine, okay? We're gonna throw in our half cup of wine and then our red wine. All right, this is beautiful. We're gonna let this cook down until it's reduced by, by two thirds. So it's gonna produce an incredible rich flavor. It's really gonna marry well with the lamb. When we throw it in there, I can't even tell you what you're in for a treat right here. Unbelievable smells going on right now. Just incredible. This is the final step, okay? We've reduced our wine by two thirds. Now is where the fun starts. We throw in our meat, okay? We're gonna throw in our stock, okay? And then we've cut up two tomatoes and we have an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. This is where the love begins. Stir it all up and you're gonna to wanna to put a top on this, all right? Just vent it, just slightly, and let it cook for as long as you need. See that it needs more water? Just take a little bit of stock and throw it right in. It'll be perfect. All right, I'm so excited. This, the house smells incredible. I wanna tell you one thing, okay? Good food, good friends, good times. That's what we have here tonight. This is our lamb stew. It, just look at the love that has been baked into all of that, okay? This is three and a half, perhaps four and a half hours of love right here in this bowl. And what I wanna do is dish this out to everybody. We have uh, good friends to enjoy this incredible food tonight. We have my good friend Bill, my good friend Morgan. We're gonna all taste in this love that has occurred in this pot over the past four hours. I would love for you guys to try this. We have a nice Malbec wine, nice mellow red wine that I think will accompany the lamb just perfectly. The lamb is outstanding. We've been looking at it for a while, eager to taste it, and you outdid yourself here. It's great. Thank you so much. Awesome. It just, um, you know, the meat melts in your mouth. You know, it's, it's, uh, and it, it's got a nice um, kind of flavor that you don't, you know, get with a necessarily a traditional, you know, uh, lamb stew. It's, it's got a nice kick to it that you don't always get. Fantastic. I can't even begin to describe the, the smell, flavor of this dish, and I haven't even tasted it, but I'm going to, and I'm going to describe it for you. Mm. The, one of the first things I taste are the, the spices, the herbs de Provence that are in this dish. Also taste the, the lamb, the parsnips, and the peppers. The red peppers uh, step up very nicely in this dish. The parsnips really step up and do a job very similar to potatoes. They have a nice mellow flavor. Everything is nice and spicy. The paprika is stepping up. The cardamom is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, I hope you try this dish at home. Very soulful, warms you from the inside out. Unbelievable dish right here at Easy Beast Kitchen. My name's Tim Broxton and we'll see you next time.